Oh, they crazy. Hey guys, Peter here and you're watching Owen Outdoors. We're going to be fishing a small club tournament tomorrow at Baxter Lake in Rochester, New Hampshire. And unfortunately, we're not going to be in my boat. That is because I just found out I have a cracked transom and my boat's pretty much done for the year. You can see right here, the rub rail is coming off my boat pretty good, which means the top cap is flexing separate from the bottom cap of the boat. And on top of that, over here, I have a cracked transom, which is very bad. So unfortunately, I think I'm going to be retiring this boat. It'll be a nice project boat for someone who has the time to fix it up, but I really just don't have the time and energy to put into it that it needs. So I will be searching for a new hull. I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to upgrade the boat to something newer anyways. Uh, I will be pulling off all the electronics, the Ultrax trolling motor, and taking out my lithium batteries that I just installed. I've already taken off the active target transducer and swapped it over to my partner's boat for the bigger tournament. It's not all bad news though. I did just get a new toy that we're gonna test out tomorrow. I'm so excited to try this thing out. It's basically a giant selfie stick for the boat, except for it's powered. It plugs into where your light would go in the back and it's powered by your cranking battery. And it's got a few USB ports up top so you can literally have your GoPro running all day long. I will still be running the chest cam, but this is just gonna be able to get some additional shots. That being said, we'll see you in the morning. Need a bigger boat for PJ. Too much. He, he's not allowed to weigh in a dead fish today. <laughs> Specifically that one. The one floating on the lake. Oh. Really? What's up with the boat? Crack oh, transom and then the, the rubber hey, rails uh, coming all off. Um, I play softball with Jeff. Oh, do you? Snacks, yeah. Oh, nice. I saw the picture of you, you guys posted together on your awesome day of fishing. Oh, yep, yep. Well, that was the day you didn't invite me. Not a bad way to start the day. I think there's probably more fish shallow, but clearly yeah. there's bigger ones up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe he's about the same size. Dude, choked it. Choked the ribbon tail. 3.6. 3 pounds, 6 ounces. Yeah, just yeah, almost three and a half. Crazy. What the heck is that? Please be a bass. Not as big as I thought he was, dude. When you set the hook, I thought it was a giant. Yes, sir. Hold on, 
on, Jess. Good one. Okay. It's not even that big, but not as big as Ryan's, but it'll do. I got one, but I think it's small. Got one. Good one. Right under the boat. And he snaps me off. <sighs> yeah. Those things are so slimy. Dude, the hook popped out. The hook popped out. Didn't even touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that cold, dude. All right, guys. Uh, how about that for a cold? See you later. I'm beating you now. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I can't believe they're biting with all these jet skis around. Yeah, in the boat. Nice fish, dude. He got it wrapped around. I don't even think he helps, he's so skinny.
That a boy, dude. So here we are waiting to weigh in. And after Ryan's last upgrade, he had a pound and a half to two pound cull. And I'm not sure if I'm beating him anymore. There's only one way to find out, though. Let's go weigh these fish. I was feeling pretty good about my bag. I had a nice four pounder in there. And there, the second one was probably three, three and a quarter. And then I had a couple smaller ones that were definitely going to hurt me. So we both thought we had between 11 and 12 pounds, and it was going to be very tight between the two of us. We were pretty sure that wouldn't be enough to take the win, and as soon as we get up close to the scales, we overhear that Ron just weighed in over 14 pounds with a 5 pounder. So congrats to Ron, but at this moment, me and Ryan are more focused on who beat each other. So the scale locks in at 11.16 pounds for me. I go to release my fish and I'm just hoping I can beat Ryan. And here are the results. It was a great day on the water and congrats again to Ron, Sean, and Ryan for first, second, and third. If you guys want to see more, make sure you like and subscribe with notifications on.